Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Let me out of here, you maggots! Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <laughs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. Yes! Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. I knew you were scum moment ago.
something of mine. My guns. I showed him. And I'll show the rest of this town! You have really lost it this time. What do you feel? Oh, we're gonna get to you so next. In the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Watch it. Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, your lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you, to liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me, <clears throat> sons of Dutch, makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes. Brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp around back of Strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah! This looks bad. No, I'm not all right. It's real bad. Come on, quick. I can't stay here much longer. Keep out of here. 
Oh, God, you did it. Praise Jesus. Oh, God. I gotta, gotta grab something for, for the blood. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I was uh, done for you. Saved me. Thank you. <laughs> Take something from my back for the trouble, though. I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a, take a minute now. <sighs> My leg feels like it's, like it's on fire. Here, drink this for the pain. <sighs> Didn't bring the trap. Take a look at this. Look at this, my friend. Tobacco. Nature's gift to us all. Mm. Focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own? Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best keep moving. Well, shit. Thanks, I guess. Yep. Well, I don't normally stay so close to others, but... I'll take that, pal. Not this! <laughs> This what you want?
boy. Idiot. Hey, you know you can't okay, have horses here. Okay, take it easy. Oh! Hey, listen! I just wanted to say, I know you bastards missed me. <laughs> Even you, Arthur. Even you. Here we go. But, oh, that speech is we're back home now. Oh, so everything's going me. to be okay. Uncle Sean is back. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw. Oh, you know, Are you seem in a good I mood. I am, I son. If I, I have am. To whip them, I will. Let's have some fun tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe just a little. Be nothing but the, the Great. Game in the pot. Now, Deadly McGuire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. <laughs> I love you, bastards. <laughs> Have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> Woo yeah, yeah. Yeah. Even you, you song. grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Get rid of you, can I? Mind if I join you, fine folks? Hey there. I suppose. You're looking lovely as ever. If I may say so. Oh, stop it. Imagine Mr. riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. This stupid. Old. So, what now? Come on. How about a song? Them that discovered the stuff must have thought they was gods among monkeys. They discovered fire. In our time, <laughs> they've discovered a wire you can talk down to speak to people you wanted to avoid so much. You know this one, don't you? John was looking for you, Arthur. He's over by the tree behind the campfire. He was? Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. You busy, Arthur? Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. You know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. <laughs> uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Oh. I think I'm still drunk. This is why the ladies love you, Bill. Now don't you start. 
What are you trying to do, brush the dirt off? What's your problem? You might want to start with washing. Try this is everything your last once. chance. General Williamson, commander of the 9th Battalion of Petticoats. Damn moron. You're a real paragon. And now it's my turn? Of every vice known to man. Is that meant to be funny? Makes me feel better about myself. All over my head, dear boy. You gonna pass out in your own shit again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I heard it all before. You bring in no money and drink ten times your share. Dang it, you ain't difficult. You're like a goddamn tick. Sucking us dry. Well, I'm gonna pretend you ain't here. I am sure. But those stinky feet Morgan save me. <laughs> well, we try to save each other. When we can. Shame about Davy. Sure. It's all. Come on. Shame. I have to know. Once and for all. What happened to your face? Oh, don't start this nonsense. You look like you was rode hard. I Why said are you doing stop? this. Not good. It ain't easy being me. I'm not saying anything, Arthur. Hard living will age a woman fast. Just look at Grimshaw. You always have to ruin it, don't you? You ain't so smart, kid. Well, that's a bit harsh, ain't it? I know you've been through the mill. What's your problem? But you're starting to look like you fell in the grinder. Fine. I'll happily pretend I mean, you ain't here. Look where you ended up. Why do you get like this? Aaron boy for a bunch What's of killers. All right. I mean, I'm ignoring you now. We don't want any more deaths. I ain't just some two-bit huckster, Jose. I, I am willing to die for this, if that is what it takes, but right now... I need to be left alone by all the second guessers. As you wish, my friend. You goddamn degenerate. I know, I know. You're repulsive. Is this really necessary? Even you know it. I am very good at blanking you out. Hey, Javier. I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said, said it was really freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. But they're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's dubious, but... There ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. How are you? All good. You know me. Uh, glad to hear it. Adelante. Hello. Let's get going. now let's stop and go on foot from here just up the hill this way follow me
but <laughs> There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Place, right? Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. Stash could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees? I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. The coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Be quiet. Just stay quiet. Where you been now, noob? Don't be boiling now, pappy. I has gone for ten minutes, I was. Now can Holly get hold on all day long? Cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie, get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. Your niece will pull it up. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. You take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, then you jump them, okay? What kind they're of distraction?
four of them. All right, quick. Let's look for the stash. They weren't shy about defending that barn. Let's check in there first. You want the money or not? Come on. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Here, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. Yeah. 